Hi everyone, welcome to my humble little studio. I am Kilda Blacksmith, and today is episode three of my Viking Sax build. So, I glued it up, I did a little bit of more fine tuning on the, um, the bolster, so you can see nice transition. And after glue up, and I'll show you some pictures of that, I am going to peen the tang. So I have my little back plate, I have my tang, and I'm going to push that on, hammer that on, and then basically make a rivet with that right there. You can see, making a rivet from that. So after lots of deliberation with my mentor and a bit of research on my own accord, I think I'm ready. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Hopefully I don't screw it up. So this is gonna make me not very happy if I do screw it up. So let's go. Alrighty, so here we go. So there is my gap. Let me get hand behind there so it'll focus hopefully. Come on. Anyway, there's no gap. We'll just put it that way. It's not focusing right. Oh well. So I think I'm ready to peen. Woo! Now comes the fun part. I.e. scary part. Alright, so from my research and talking with my mentor, I have a little setup here. I have a piece of wood block down here at the bottom to protect the tip of the blade. And then I have a piece of wet leather here around the blade. There's WD-40 on the blade, so don't worry about rusting. And then I have the copper jaws, so this blade should not be affected in terms of rattling around. And I crank the snot out of this thing with the vise. <clears throat> so, what I've figured out, this is gonna be a lot of tapping. So, using the ball peen of this hammer, I'm just gonna be tapping here, I have several different um, punches here, like I have a big center punch here, a smaller set punch, uh, there's a final a bit, and then two other center punches to try to spread out this material, this, this little punch. So I have a few punches that I can spread out material with, if I need to or not. I have a feeling I will. Um, I did not temper, or I did not heat treat all the way back to the tank area. So this should be fairly soft. Uh, hopefully it's pretty soft, because I'm not going to be able to heat it back up, otherwise I'll cook my handle off. And I really like my handle. It's beautiful. So, anyway, let's start cracking. It's going to be fun. So as you can see, getting pretty close. There we go. It's focusing. Still got a little bit of work to do. But overall, I am very happy with the results. Oh, this is a lot of work. <laughs> but why am I kidding myself? I knew it was going to be a lot of work. So, alright. Keep hammering.
Okay, quick update. Let's see. I'm getting there. Time to gap down there, but I, I think I can take care of that later. Oh man. This is a rough one. Very trying in the patience. Alrighty, that was a long time. I'm not even sure how long. But anyway, it is riveted. Now, I'm not positive if I'm gonna go back and try to do a little bit more to it. There's that, there's just barely any bit of gapping. I mean, maybe two thousandths, if that, I don't know. But, there's a casualty. While I was doing it, apparently, the vise was touching the blade and the hammering, persistent hammering, I'm not sure if you can see it. There we go. Anyway, it nicked the blade, nicked the edge. So I'm probably gonna have to maybe polish that out just a little bit, I'm not positive what I'm gonna do with that. Um, that's a little sad, but I'm going to um, start filing smoothing out the transition from the handle to the butt cap and also start hand sanding the handle. Oh wow, a lot of hand sanding. I jokingly refer that I like rubbing on this knife, which is basically all I do is file and sand and rub and roll on it. So. Alrighty, back to more sanding. Let's do this. <laughs> So as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap at the bottom, right between the handle and the bolster. But I think I can get that out because I was not able to hammer it down enough and file it flat. So what I'm going to do is a hybrid fit up where they both come into like a little V or a U. So it's really nice transition between the bolster and the handle. So I really like how the rivet is coming. So I added some texture on the back plate to complement the little bit of accidental texturing I did with the hammer. So just kind of embraced that and continued on that little motif. And all in all, I am super pleased with it. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. So here's a quick recap of what I did. So the handle has been epoxied tang has been riveted to the back plate and also the handle has been roughly shaped. I may do a little bit more shaping but a lot of hand sanding and I also have to repair the little nick right here in the blade from peening the tang and also a little bit of polishing on the blade because it got a little rusty from me not being able to work on it from school. So all in all I'm really excited on where this blade is taking me. I cannot wait for the leather work because that's going to be another animal entirely, pun intended. And <laughs> We're just gonna have a lot of fun with that. So I have a drawing here somewhere of my eventual goal of what's gonna look like. 
theoretically. So hopefully I can get that to work. That will probably be my next video. Uh, right now, I'm about to be on spring break, so I'll have more time to work on it. And so hopefully the videos will come out, come out a little bit more regularly than they have been. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you think I earned it, feel free to hit subscribe and hit the little bell notification and you'll be notified for my next video. And well, that's all. So, fare well and Shabbat Shalom.